filming a, a Steven Seagal movie. Really? Yeah. Steven Seagal's here? Yeah. He hasn't come in, though. Oh, really? I told him, I said, yeah, bring him by the shop. Yeah, he hasn't come in. Really? Really? Go over and kick his ass. <laughs> 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 Rolling. All right. All right. We're here at uh, Pete Sands with Sidewinder TV series. We're here with uh, Kevin. Kirk. Hi. Yep, Kevin Kirk. Yeah. K Bone, owner of the legendary heavy metal shop here in Salt Lake City. Um, this is a very interesting place you got oh, here. Thank you. I mean, this is probably a haven for people like ourselves who are into heavy metal. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little about your store. Like, when, where did you start out? Uh, I opened in Sandy, Utah in 87, out in the suburbs, and uh, did all right out there. It was a little more conservative out there, so I'd get in trouble for, <laughs> you know, posters and stuff. Cops would come in because people would complain. Oh, all right. Yeah. So, then, uh, so I moved to Sugar House in 89. Mm -hmm. I was up there for 12 years. So when, you, so when did you come here? <laughs> so when did you come here? Uh, I moved down here uh, 2001. Wow. Yeah, so uh, 14 years. I, th I think the biggest question for me is like, why did you start it in the first place? You know, I just, I'm a big fan of music. That's, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to be in the business somehow. You know, played a little bit of music. I'm not that, not that good at it, so <laughs> couldn't make it that way. But I, yeah, just the love of the music from a real young age. I've just really loved rock and roll and heavy metal. And we, I've seen uh, some pictures on your Facebook page that you post of it, like when you were younger days when you yeah. hung out with like. Uh, Rob Halford. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. We had him in the store once. Oh yeah. So awesome. Yeah, oh, that was man. that was pretty cool. So would you say like, one of those, were you aiming to meet musicians or you just? You know what? You know that was kind of a, a perk, you know, for. But that's not why I did it. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't think I, you know, I didn't know that yeah. that I was going to meet these people just having a record store, you know, because I'd never had a record store. It was a new thing to me. But then having the store, I got tickets and passes to shows and started meeting bands. And All right. So it was like. It was pretty cool. That's like one of the coolest things. I never thought I'd meet these guys. So to actually, actually meet them and hang out with them and uh, have a couple it's so beers cool. With them. Yeah, yeah. It's, all yeah, kinds of cool. things. Yeah. yeah, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I don't know if we can talk about everything on your. No, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think we can do that for legal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get anybody in trouble. But uh, when I first when I first came to the city from the reservation, this was one of the first places I came. It was a heavy metal shop, and. Uh, it was kind of odd because Salt Lake City is more known for like Mormonism. Yeah. And so like down the street and I seen this metal shop. I was like, is that, is that a real metal shop? And I came in here and I seen all this. I, was I like, wish we were oh. a little closer to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have a strip bar near the temple, didn't they? Uh, yeah, the they kind of, oh, the, the dead goat. Yeah, the dead there. goat. Yeah. 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 But I think a lot of, you know, the heavy metal shop is, I don't know if there's any other record store like this around here. I think like this emphasis on heavy metal music, which is, which was probably uh, wasn't really big at the time when you first started. Well, it was you know that's uh, I knew I knew when I called it the heavy metal shop that I would it would turn away certain people, yeah. but it would get the right people, you know. Like, mm -hmm. you so know what, what I mean? What what made you name it the heavy metal shop? Uh, you know, I was I, I actually when I first started, I opened a store in '86, and it was the CD shop, and I sold all kinds of music. But I didn't know a lot about like jazz, and yeah. new age, and that you know, classical music or whatever. CDs were really new. I had a lot of people buying that stuff, but I liked the heavier stuff. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would always be playing heavier stuff, and I just thought you know it'd be better to specialize in that because that's what I know about. That's what I listen to. I knew more about that, so I didn't want to sell music that I didn't know yeah. that I wasn't familiar with that I didn't know. So that's why I went heavy. I could you know could have called it <laughs> I don't know the rock and roll shop. I don't. I think heavy metal just really it. it I don't know. I like that. It has so a nice ring to it. Too. What what do you what is it about heavy metal that you like? Well, it's loud. You know, I love loud. <laughs> but you know, I love all kinds of music too. Yeah. It's not just heavy metal. We you know, loud guitars. That's you know, loud guitars. I know you uh, have you have musicians play here at your shop, and it's not just like you said, not just heavy metal. Yeah. You have people like Scott X. Byron, yeah, John Moreland, Sammy Brew, Eddie Spaghetti, and these these guys. Like Eddie Spaghetti and John Moreland really have unique styles. They do, yeah. So it's Scott Byram too. Yeah, Scott Byram. But you know, they're, he's a metalhead too. Yeah, Scott he Byram is. is. You know, uh, in fact, I had uh, Tesco V in here from the Meat Men. Oh yeah. He read from a book, and 
he came in the first thing he said is you know we're all head we're all head we're headbangers you know? <laughs> we're all, all metalheads that's yeah. what he said we're all metalheads and uh that's true yes, you know, i think even the punk guys that's you know metal is i don't know it's dear to a lot of people so so do you feel like the heavy metal is bigger now as like musically like mainstream wise uh, i don't is? know it's we're kind of the we're kind of on the fringe of that i don't know i guess you know, there was a time like in the 80s when it was like, big. yeah, but, but big Iron Maiden goes and, you know, they come here and they 18,000 people. So it's, mm -hmm. it, it's big. It's still yeah. big. It's never really, uh, never really went away. All these different things come and go, but Iron Maiden comes to town, you get 18,000 people there. That kind of shows how strong and, you know, heavy metal is or yeah. how, uh, I don't know if that's the right word. But, uh, you know, I was reading an interview from uh, Gene Simmons. He did like a couple months ago. And the, the basically he summed up that heavy metal is dead, rock and roll. Yeah, dead. well, shit, he, you know, he's not, he's not really one of us, yeah. <laughs> you know. And, uh, he's in a whole other world, you know. I don't know. I, he does. He, he does. He doesn't know about a lot of bands. I'm sure. You know. He's just. He's really into himself. Really into himself. Yeah. yeah. And well, the thing about Black is my band. When I first started, it was a metal band. So we we're like playing like the hardcore, hate yeah. rate kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. But uh, as a as I as I move as I kept going, it just kind of I was like, I don't think that's my style. I love heavy metal, yeah. but I don't think that's what I should be playing. A lot of guys do that. Though. Like yeah. John Moreland was in a punk band, you know, when mm -hmm. he was younger, you know. So it's you know, it's there. But you write great songs and sing songs. It's more the style like what you do, mm -hmm. what John does. Like Hank Three, we yeah. love Hank Three, yeah. man. All of us here, and, and I love him. his. Uh, I love his country stuff more yeah. than I do his his metal stuff. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we're, we're huge fans of uh, Hank 3, Shooter Jennings. Oh, yeah, Shooter's awesome. Oh, he's yeah. like, uh, he had Jim Dandy on his last yeah. album from Black Oak, Arkansas, one of my favorites. From he had back. Byram on his last album, yeah, too. Byram yeah, Byram was on that album, too. But, you know, that's, that's a culture here that, that's what Sire Wonder TV is about, is going, like, the underground stuff here in Salt Lake. Because as a musician, starting out with a, a Blackest with a very unique sound, it was kind of like a hard pill to swallow for people. And so when I discovered places like this, and you meet all these other artists is that you can't really fit them in a certain genre. It just seems like there's more of a, there's a stronger bond between those kind of musicians who struggle more than others that are conventional. Yeah, more than like Gene Simmons. Yeah. yeah he, he doesn't get it, you know. Um, yeah, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. So the, the heavy metal shop is a, he has been around for 28 years. Yeah. And. You hope it goes on? Well, yeah, hopefully. Like yeah. beyond you? I would like that, yeah. You know, but like my grandkids maybe take over. I don't, that would be awesome, you know. I've, I've sure been uh, such a big part of my life, and I, I love doing it, and I would hate to ever ever have it end. But Yeah, I'd hate to see it end too. Cause but, you know, if, if it does, it's, you know, left somewhat of a legacy, I guess. Just, oh, yeah, it's left a big It's a lot of shirts, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, I've seen people, they always ask, you're from Salt Lake, like when I go to Phoenix, he's like, you're from Salt Lake, they're like, have you ever been to the heavy metal shop? And I said, yeah, I've been there. And you know, it's out there, man, people know about it, and it's really, it's really, uh, I think, I don't know what the word is, amazing? It, it's cool to me, you know, it's still, it's a thrill to me, you know, just to see people wearing my stuff, and, and I love talking with people about music, and, you know, just have the same passion for it that I do. But, you know, the, when you first started the business, you were selling CDs, and then you weeded out to where you just wanted to sell what you knew about. Yeah, yeah, I was and selling all kinds of CDs. Yeah, on, yeah, music. So, uh, if you had to list like your top favorite musicians, it doesn't have to be metal anyway. That's tough. I mean, I could, you know, obviously Alice Cooper's up there mm -hmm. from a real young age. I thought he was so <laughs> badass, <laughs> you know. And, Back when he uh, threw chickens. Yeah, back when you, you know, <laughs> thought it was all, you know, it was real. But uh, yeah, Alice definitely. Uh, Black Oak, Arkansas was one of the first. Um, I really love the New York, like the New York Dolls, yeah. Richard Hell, Lou Reed, that all that. I, from that from, goes way back too. Um, and I love like Deep Purple and Uriah yeah. Heep. That's, that'd be the heavier stuff. Thin Lizzy, UFO. That's more than five. But, <laughs> that's all right. But that's that's the you know the begin. I still love all that stuff. Yeah. Everything I I listened to when I was younger is still you know sticks with you. So is there any, anything like any other band or musician you've recently discovered that you really like? Oh man, John Morland's one of them. John yeah, Morland. That's pretty recent. Uh, 
drive by truckers. That's been a, you know it's been a while, but I still love those guys. I always like to to give them a plug if I you know they're just a great band. Drive by truckers. Drive by I mean, truckers. Yeah. Drive by truckers. I heard of them back when I was in high school. Yeah, I think they've been around that long. They've been around a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's they uh, had Patterson Hood in here a couple times. He's one of the main guys. Right. He played in here and then he did a record signing. Really good dude. So this is, we're here with K-Bone, Kevin Kirk from uh, the Heavy Metal Shop, and you sell concert tickets here, right? I do, yep. yeah. Not all concert tickets. No, not the not the real big ones, but like Complex and the, in the venue, sometimes sell there. All right. Yeah. So we're here with K-Bone at the Heavy Metal Shop, Side One the TV crew is here. I'd like to thank you for talking to us. Thank you, Pete. We'll Pleasure. be back here more often, and uh, you're gonna play in here. I'll be playing here on May <laughs> May six. May six, I'll be playing at the Metal Shop, and it was good to meet this guy, and hope he goes on forever. You too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> he laughs. He's like, he's like, I think so. Yeah, what a jackass. <laughs>